we are on the uh, ESO PTS public test server for update 41 and they are coming out with two new houses and as usual we'll do the house tour on PTS to give people an idea uh, who don't have PTS of what's coming in terms of housing. Uh, the first one we're going to go to is called Sword Singers Redoubt. The description says, some claim the truest treasure in this former sword slinger Sword slinger, sword singer stronghold and glitters below brown in the form of full clear water. After the retreat of the sword singers, enterprising merchants set up markets here for wealthy clients. Perhaps you will too. So you want to purchase it on PTS for one crown. Let's take guesses as to uh, how much it will cost on live. You think 16k crowns? That? Eh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think the housing prices are ludicrous. So I don't really participate in it. I also think like the amount of the the, the cap on furnishings is still too way too small. Seven hundred. It's way too small. For like these big houses that keep getting bigger and bigger. Alright. Here it is. Here's the house. This is the entrance. As for where we are on the map, we are in Bankorai. And there's another house for, uh, across from us called Twin Arches. Although I feel like this would have been an Alec here, but maybe the... Oh, no, it is an Alec here. Okay, it was just putting me in Bankorai. Okay, so the house will be located here above the Satakala Amway Shrine in uh, eastern Alakir Desert. So let's start exploring. Um, so we, we, we have these walkways. I think that's the first you can go on that walkway over there by the rocks. And this walkway I think extends <clears throat> uh, quite Quite deeper than I thought into the house. So this this will provide, I guess, I don't know. Some gardens. And then there's some there's a balcony area over there, patio area. Okay, and now we're gonna go look at the other side of the house here. Which I don't think again, yeah, ends at the rocks. So I'm gonna jump down. And there is a big hole. Okay. Just in the middle of the area that I think is the main attraction of the house. So we're gonna we're gonna actually explore the surface level of the house before we jump down to the uh jump down into the hole. We saw this area before, but there is also it seems to be a subterranean walkway going into that deep hole. So I'm gonna actually dip okay. on out of here. Come on. And here's the uh, Kind of like clearing area. And this is another exit. So there's two exits to this place, which is interesting. Two exits to the house itself? Yep. So I'm going to jump down into the hole. Whee. You're really just supposed to jump though? Oh, okay. I'll assume so. And this is, I think, tech they used in the uh, one of the newer dungeons. I forget what it's called. I forget what the dungeon was called. It's, uh, it's in Stone Falls. Yeah, Balsinar. So that dungeon has a, a a door that acts that that is a bucket. So you can like ascend or descend. So you can also descend using the same bucket. Okay. So you don't have to jump. Okay. Now let's explore the cave? cave, the hole. There's a lot of glitter and stalagmites and stalactites, crystals. So this is the upper level, which is where we would have gone into how we continued earlier. 
down the passageway. Mm -hmm. There's also a better uh, area here in the water area. So this is one of the two new houses coming out after update 41. I like the cave a lot better than the the top side, but I'm wondering what one would do with it. I don't know what you would do with this cave. <laughs> I I just don't have I just have a dislike for these big houses that don't. It's just it's, there's so much space to decorate, but you can't decorate all of it because of the furnishing limit. Uh, so I find in houses like this kind of... Okay, I think there's another uh, area we haven't seen around here, which is in, through this passageway. And this is a very normal looking Breton slash Altmer kind of architecture. It's like a whole different theme, really. It feels like someone came down here, surveyed the area, built a hole, and just built like a underground house with passageways, complete with tiled flooring. But is it just passageways, or is there are there rooms? It's it's just well, there's a room here, but like whoa, interesting. Uh, it just clashes so much with the. The, the cavern. <laughs> the top, I feel like, like the top side. Yeah, the top is red, very red guard. Alakir Desert. Yeah. The cavern is gray more kind of feel. The, the, there's a another house. It's a red guard passageway here. Very there's a lot of sweet. conflicting themes. I feel like. Uh, there should be another passageway here. And then we're going to go to the next house. Yeah, there it is. Overall, not impressed. Of course not. <laughs> yeah, this is the same place. Let's do one more. Scan. It's extremely big. I don't like it. It's too big. You don't even get enough furnishing slots to fill this house. <laughs> it's a little platform here. There's a lot of passageway. Two long passageways. Two, two areas. The next house we're going to be looking at is Willow Pond Haven. Description for it reads Twinkling lantern flies and languorous willow trees set a cozy scene for this retreat nestled near a peaceful pond. Waterfalls ugh, and scenic views complete this serene living nook on the edge of Blackwood. Alright, so this is the entrance to... Wow, this reminds me of the uh, Antiquarian's Gallery house up in Western Skyrim. Just the entrance, kind of. Just, I yeah. don't know, something about it. Yeah, no, it is almost exactly Okay, like so we are over here on the southeastern lake of Blackwood. Near absolutely nothing. Near... Look at how far you have to go to get to the nearest way shrine. Well, I think the reason why they put it here is because this might be close to one or two survey spots. Mm. They like doing that. They like pressuring you to buy houses. Buy the house so you can get there faster. You know, exactly. Like the Morrowind house right here. Close to a survey spot right here. Yeah. So anyway, this is the entranceway. There That's the map positioning. And here's a, another waterfall. Oh my god, what okay, a surprise. The top of a waterfall. Wait, you can get past this? Can you actually go down the waterfall? Though? Nope. No, it's blocked. The wall. I don't know. That's kind of cute. Okay. Anyway, let's go back to the entrance. You can swim. There's these lily pads and flowers and cobblestone path.
Yeah. There's a little island with a tree on it and a, a bunch of waterfalls. It's like they watch my videos about like that. My, my housing tour videos. They're just like, man, this guy fucking hates waterfalls. Let's put more waterfalls in there. We have some. What? Look at this. this Look at this. I really like it. If you watch all my like PTS house videos, there's a waterfall in every house. And I'm like pointing it out over the past however many years I've been doing these videos. Waterfalls everywhere. Anyway, yes, there's a hidden path behind the waterfalls. That again, doesn't make up for the fact that there's waterfalls. Anyway, let's go back to this area here before we move on to the secret passageway behind the waterfall. I feel like you're doing everything you can to avoid the footbridge. Ah, uh, okay, we'll walk across the bridge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Feels like a bridge. <laughs> Alright, there's a outdoor outhouse right here. The shed. A shack, shed, whatever you want to call it. And here's a house. The Willow Pond Serenity Home. Inside, so dark. there are fire logs. Lighting's very poor in here. It's so dark! Why? <laughs> yeah, it's it's very poor lighting, but I mean, you you people... Oh, what the hell? Just a random Just a random wall. brick wall? Okay, I don't like it. Why? I feel like these two houses are very random in terms of the consistency. You know, there's so many houses that I have liked but won't buy because the lighting is so shit. And believe it or not, there is not good lighting furnishings to actually make a difference in these dark houses. I'm gonna get darker for you. No! <laughs> okay. Hit it. It's so dark. Here's a balcony. I don't think there was a basement. Oh, you can't even jump over the. Yeah. Nope, no basement. But there is like another house. Yep, with ramps. There. This is called a Willow Pond Tranquility Home. That's our compromise on elevator. You get stairs or ramps. Hmm. The ramp leads you to a outdoor area above the house. Okay, so outdoor clear uh, outdoor area. We go down the ramps. We could go past the street. Kind of like slide down the roof. I don't know. All right, the lighting is also kind of, uh, it's a little better. That is a little better. It's very cramped. It's like completely opposite from the other one. There is, it's so massive. And then this one, you get two houses, but they're so tiny. Yeah. <laughs> like a lot attic. of the furnishing would take up so much of this space. Just like a few items. Uh, yeah, I, honestly, I don't know where, where, I, where I would start with this one. I like the outside. That's about it. I think like the exterior features of the house are cute, but I don't, I don't like the houses. What? <clears throat> That's it? It's just the cave. A hidey cave. That's a cave. You can set up like a romantic picnic, a sacrificial picnic. altar. In a cave? What if there's dungeon. bats? I mean, a lot of well, it's not very well hidden. <laughs> it's not, no. Uh, yeah. If you throw some vines over it, that'll help. 